Namaskar, myself Masakar Das. Today is 10th August 2025. Welcome to the Delhi Weather Briefing of India Meteorological Department. First, we will discuss about the highlights of weather in coming seven days. Particularly, if you talk about the weather system, there is possibility of heavy to very heavy rainfall activity over Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh during coming seven days, with the ice possibility of isolated extremely heavy rainfall, that is rainfall more than 20 centimeters likely over uh, Uttarakhand on 13th of August. If you talk about the subdued rainfall activity, particularly of the central India, it is rainfall activity likely to revive and there is possibility of increase in rainfall activity over east central India and adjoining north peninsula India from 13th August and with a fresh fall of heavy to very heavy rainfall activity, particularly over Madhya Pradesh, Bidha, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Coastal Andhra Pradesh and Telangana during the period 13th to 16th August. And uh, if you talk about the past 24 hour weather, heavy to very heavy rainfall activity has been observed, particularly over the Assam and Meghalaya, Bihar, West Uttar Pradesh, uh, Haryana, Chandigarh, Madhya Pradesh and South Interior Karnataka. Also heavy rainfall observed over subdivision over the country. The weather systems in particular, the yesterday's uh, cyclonic circulation West Uttar Pradesh, today it lies over central parts of the Uttar Pradesh and uh, extending up to low troposphere level apart from that, there is another fresh cyclonic circulation observed over uh, North Arabian Sea adjoining Gujarat region. Also, a cyclonic circulation that is yesterday over north interior Karnataka, it is there over the same region. And there is a likely formation of a low pressure area uh, over northwest and adjoining west central Bay of Bengal around 13th of August. If you talk about the monsoon trough in particular, monsoon trough is uh, the western end particularly slightly north of its normal position where uh, eastern end very uh, come very close to the foothills of Himalaya. If you talk about the location, the monsoon trough passes through Faridako, Faridkot, Ludhiana, Najibabad, Sajanpur, Balia, Chalpaigodi, then then east north eastward to Arunachal Pradesh. Due to this weather system, the next 24 hours weather particularly, there is possibility of isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall activity over Uttarakhand and Gujarat, so orange alert has been issued. And heavy rainfall activity likely over western Himalaya region that is Jammu Kashmir and uh, uh, also over uh, Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh and west Uttar Pradesh, so yellow alert has been issued. Uh, heavy rainfall activity along with the accompanied with thunderstorm activity likely continue over uh, northeastern states, also sub West Bengal, Bihar. However, he heavy rainfall activity, particularly southern peninsula and India, if you talk about particularly Telangana, uh, interior Karnataka, Rayal Sima, uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh and Telangana likely during the next 24 hours uh, accompanied with uh, the thunderstorm activity. If you talk about day 2, that is 11th, there is possibility of heavy to very heavy rainfall activity uh, over Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh and sub Himalaya, West Bengal and Sikkim. So, orange alert has been issued. However, thunderstorm activity over parts of central India, eastern pockets, as well as northeastern state, accompanied with heavy rainfall activity some parts of Assam, Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana. So, yellow alert has been issued. On day 3, there will be increase in rainfall activity, particularly over the Himalayan region, that is Himachal Pradesh and uh, Uttarakhand and if you talk about the North Eastern state, particularly Arunachal Pradesh, Asa Meghalaya, Sabhinal, West Bengal, they will guide light to, uh, to get heavy to very heavy rainfall activity. Orange alert has been issued, particularly the eastern part of the central India, that is Odisha, Chhattisgarh and uh, uh, Bidarb, they will uh, likely to get, and East Madhya Pradesh, likely to get heavy rainfall activity, particularly Odisha, likely to get very heavy rainfall activity, so orange alert has been issued. Telangana and coastal Andhra Pradesh likely to get heavy rainfall activity on 12th. On 13th, there is significant increase in rainfall activity, particularly of the northern parts of peninsula in India, also eastern part of central India, as well as western Himalaya region and uh, Uttar Pradesh as well. If you talk about particularly Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, uh, likely to get isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall activity and possibility of extremely heavy rainfall activity that is over Uttarakhand on 13th of August. If you talk about the Odisha, Chhattisgarh, uh, Bidar, Telangana also likely to get isolated heavy to very heavy activity, Assam Meghalaya also possibility isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall activity, so orange alert has been issued. On day 5, there is possibility of isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall activity particularly over Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Bidar, uh, Telangana and coastal Andhra Pradesh, so orange alert has been issued. 
on day 6 day 7 there is no orange alert however heavy to very heavy rainfall activity on day 6 that is 15th of august possibility over uttarakhand west uttar pradesh also over telangana coastal andhra pradesh and chhattisgarh if you talk about on day 7 that is 16 there is possibility of isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall activity over uttarakhand also Telangana as well as Chhattisgarh. So, yellow uh, alert has been issued. To look into the impact of this heavy rainfall activity, you can see in the screen. Also, you can uh, accordingly, due to this heavy rainfall the action suggested by MD, you can look into this screen. So, for detailed information, you can directly log in into mosom.imd.gov.in. Also, you can follow us in social media platform X, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Thank you. Namaskar.